So here is a big loop of Henle that we can look at to examine how it concentrates the medulla. And that process is called countercurrent multiplication. And we'll explain why it uses that name in just a second. So we established that using sodium transporters that it has, the loop of Henle can establish a difference of 200 milliosms per liter between the inside and the outside. And we know that those sodium transporters are in the thick ascending limb, so that's right here. So here at the thick ascending limb, the loop of Henle is pumping sodium out, and that leads to a higher concentration of sodium out here, outside of the tubules. Now, the loop of Henle is not permeable to water, so water cannot follow here, which means that the concentration inside is going to be lower than the concentration here. But the thin descending limb is permeable to water, and so water is going to come out. And why is that? Well, that's because we've added a bunch of sodium here, so the concentration here goes up, so now there's osmotic pressure to drag sodium out of the descending limb. So now you have water coming out of the descending limb until the concentration in here is equal to the concentration here. And so that's going to cause the concentration in the descending limb to increase because you're removing water. And so what we end up with now is lower concentration filtrate here and higher concentration filtrate here. And now the key to countercurrent multiplication is that this higher concentration filtrate we're sending down deeper into the medulla. And this lower concentration stuff, we're sending away from the loop of Henle out the distal convoluted tubule. So high concentration stuff in, low concentration stuff out. So what is that going to do? That's going to increase the concentration of everything along the loop of Henle. So now we have high concentration fluid that's going to come down through the loop of Henle and come up this way. So now this fluid in the thick ascending limb is going to be higher concentration than it was before, which means that now it can afford to pump out a little more sodium. Because what was limiting it here was the difference in concentration. But if the concentration here goes up, that means it can afford to make the concentration here a little higher. So it's going to do that. And that means that even more fluid is going to come out of this side. And that means that the concentration of this is going to be even higher. And that means that now this even higher fluid, concentrated fluid, is going to come around over here to the thick ascending limb. And I think you can see where this process is going. Basically, the idea is because you're constantly shuttling the higher concentration side into the loop of Henle and shuttling out the lower concentration side, this just multiplies and multiplies, which is why we call it multiplication, until we reach our maximum possible concentration here in the medulla, which is 1,200. And keep in mind that the water here is equalizing all the way down into the deepest part of the medulla, which means that the concentration here at the very bottom of the loop of Henle is also going to be about 1,200. OK, so that is countercurrent multiplication. And it may not make perfect sense. In fact, it probably doesn't. It's really hard to understand, but that's OK. You just need to get a gist for the idea that the kidney is able to come up with this incredibly high concentration in the medulla because it has these two different arms of the loop of Henle traveling in different directions, and it makes this one more concentrated and that one less concentrated.